Today, a Detroit mother pleaded no contest to charges claiming she didn't tell firefighters her 18-month-old adopted daughter was actually inside her burning home. Yeah, many people remember the story. It happened back in April of 2021 on Detroit's east side. Firefighters say they went into the house to find the woman's dogs and found the child inside. Sean Lay on this story for us tonight. Sean, so uh, what did the judge have to say about this? Shocking case, Kimberly, and the judge told Chantel Alexander, the mother in this case, that by pleading no contest, she was admitting guilt to leaving her baby girl in a house while it was on fire and not telling firefighters about it at all. And here's the latest. Those firefighters are not happy with the plea agreement she got. We first showed you a fire on Riad in Detroit back in April of 2021. A photo of Detroit firefighter LaVon Williams holding a baby girl. He found the baby inside the burning home in this crib covered in blankets. Couldn't believe it, honestly. And I just grabbed her. I kind of felt like a father at that moment and just grabbed the baby and ran as quickly as I can to get her away from the smoke. The baby's mother, Chantel Alexander, was out of the burning home. Firefighters say she was telling them to rescue her dogs, never telling them her baby was in the home. He looked up at me with these big, beautiful eyes. I was like, oh my God, it just, you know, it just, it, it was a feeling that I couldn't get rid of for a couple of days. And uh, uh, it kind of overwhelmed me a little bit because again, we weren't informed that it was a child in there. The baby held on to him like it knew Firefighter Williams. The baby looked relieved. Alexander was charged with child abuse, a 10 year felony. She was in court today and took a plea deal. The punishment, three years, probation. And after speaking with your attorney, what is it that you wish to do today, ma'am? Thank you, please. So you want to plead no contest today? Yes. Detroit firefighters saving that little girl's life. I would not put that baby in the hands of any civilian until we got that baby to the hospital. The scariest thing about the whole situation is like, how do you not tell us that there's a child in there? And it was a lot of black smoke. Back here live. Thank goodness those firefighters thought something was up at that house fire and checked every uh, part of that house, finding that baby who is okay to this day. Now, listen, it bears repeating, Kimberly. That's three years probation for Chantel Alexander, alcohol treatment, but she can have no contact with that little girl who is in child protective custody tonight. Yeah, just Back sickening. To you. So, Sean, we heard her plead no contest to the charges just then, but did she have anything else to say, the mother? The, on, the only thing she would tell the judge in this case was that she agreed with that plea, and that was it. Oh, goodness. Okay. Sean, thanks.